absolute legend in the comedy scene. Please start clapping right now. Start clapping right now for Frankie Brown! <laughs> I just drove into town actually today, and, and my friends were like, "You gotta come do some time." I was like, cool, I come down to the damn uh, Cotton Club and, <laughs> and do some shit for the people. It's my hometown. I love my city. I live in Charlotte. Um, uh, I love Memphis, right on. I brag about Memphis everywhere I go. Home of the first 48. <laughs> That's what we do in Memphis: barbecue and murder. <laughs> Number one, that new killing real. What are we doing in Memphis? I love Memphis, man. I brag about it all over the country, man. I tell them, man, we do basketball. We got the best barbecue in the southern system, right? Muslims eat our barbecue. <laughs> like date night tonight up in there, right? Um, date night, y'all holding hands, y'all all booed up and shit, right? Date night, sir, you married. You're not, you're touching. That's what you do. <laughs> married? No, I'm just loving one. Yeah, that's, that's all that's, you're married folks don't normally to touch all the time. Right? <laughs> Keep these drinks coming. Don't say shit to me. Don't look at me. Don't touch me. Don't talk to me. <laughs> I just found out I was divorced. Uh, <laughs> and Facebook. <laughs> that's the shit. Because it ain't official. This is official on the damn Facebook, man. I've been married twice. I thought I was a problem for a long time, and I'm not. I just married two assholes, is what I got. <laughs> That's not true. My first wife and I good friends. Uh, four kids, six grandkids. So we get along good for the kids' sake. But now my new ex-wife. <laughs> I hate that bitch. <laughs> when she die, I'm going to the funeral with birthday cake and ice cream. And I'm going to hire a clown. Like, is she dead? Hurry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting cool in the game, play the funeral. It's gonna be like, celebrate good time, come on. We ain't that bitch. <laughs> I tried to send her a tarantula for Valentine's Day. Like, the post office said I couldn't do it. Cause no, nothing said I hate you like getting the damn tarantula in the mail. I'm telling you. I hope she died in a plane crash over the ocean so she can burn up and drown at the same damn time. <laughs> hey, man, so I hope the AIDS monkey bite her in the face. <laughs> Some of y'all, that's one angry little fat man up there. Jesus, fix it. Her and the ugly ass mom. Her mama just won the Morgan Freeman lookalike contest two weeks ago. <laughs> These just jokes, man. If you gonna hate somebody, go first class. Don't go and coach. <laughs> so my daughter called me, my baby, she called. She said, Dad, uh, I think you need a girlfriend. I'm like, Chelsea, I'm 55 years old. You know, it's almost over. <laughs> I'm in the third quarter with two timeouts left. This shit all <laughs> You young folk better take case. Of getting old suck. You know that? Getting old hurt, man. Woke up the other day, tooth on the pillow. Just <laughs> fell out my head like a fucking acorn. This shit all over. <laughs> People get all freaked out. You talk about dying at a comedy show. This lady told me, she said, oh, you shouldn't say those things. Your words have power. I'm like, lady, your words got power over variables, not even the abilities. We all die. One day your ass is going to wake up and not be woke. It's going to be some bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be pissed off when I die. I can feel it. Like, I over some shit. I didn't get to eat that thing. I was going to Red Lobster one more time and wear the ass out for endless shrimp one more time. <laughs> Love that shit better. Oh, I went last time with the damn dictionary and read the manager the definition of endless, so it ain't no confusion. <laughs> That's what I'm about to go out. This friend about to get this work up in there. <laughs> oh, man. I live, I used to live in Knoxville, for me to Charlotte. Y'all know Knoxville, don't you? Yeah. yeah. Shout out to the Memphis Tigers, man, doing all the big football. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's some awesome shit right there, man. Knoxville sucks. <laughs> all they care about is damn Tennessee. That's all they give shit about Tennessee Volunteers. They suck so much. We, they lost to DeVry this year. 
in overtime, but they gave it to the ass. And then the fighting gigabyte struck. <laughs> Not that they ain't real diverse, you know. They got some black folk, but they keep them over there. <laughs> and they stay their black ass over there. Don't come out. All they give a shit about the damn Tennessee but Which is not real diverse culturally, neither. Like, it's all country music, which I dig a little country, you know. When you go 45 and black, you listen to country. Because you understand this shit. Because you know? I like blues, and blues and country are real similar, because somebody always losing their shit all the time. You know? <laughs> but then I get out with some Rascal Flats, a bunch of Ginger, you know. George Strait, I like George Strait. Um, I like the country songs, because they got the heavy lyrics. They were saying the deep shit. I got this Joe Strait song on my iPod. I had to listen to it like a hundred times to make sure I heard what I thought I heard. He said, <laughs> he said I said I don't love you, and I ain't never been your fool. That's a lie, and that's the truth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nigga, that's deep. I don't give a shit. Who you? country song I've ever heard in my life got to be from that movie. Uh, one of my favorite movies is The Old Brother, where I, I can watch that movie. Every, but when the soggy bottom boy said it off, <laughs> with that real country, like, ain't caught this sorrow. Oh my God, dang. I'm going to burn across my own yard. <laughs> 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 Which brings me, I gotta get out of here in a second, bring to the next one. I'm glad to see all these different folk in here, man. Black, white folk in here trying to get along. I think it's more people who really want to get along than there are those that don't. Real people don't care about what color your skin is. It's not the important color. The important color is green. <laughs> if you ain't got no green, we all hate your ass. <laughs> yeah. One day I think everybody's gonna treat each other good with respect and dignity, we're gonna treat each other right. I'm gonna call it the great get along. We'll be in all the history books and shit. Uh, Cause I invented it. <laughs> We're gonna be there, it's gonna be great. Now white people, some of y'all not gonna make it, okay? <laughs> Cause I see you on the YouTube doing all kinds of crazy shit. So I brought some tips to help y'all make it to the great get along. We all gotta be there for the shit to work out. Right on, my folks gonna be there, y'all gonna be there too. So I brought some tips to help make it great get along. Number one, stay out the damn ocean, okay? <laughs> Them sharks is racist. <laughs> they ain't eating us. <laughs> they eating y'all. You ever see black folk at the beach? Most of the time, we fully dressed. We like jean jackets. <laughs> we had it for a long time, but I get it. White people love nature. At least my next point. A lot of protesting going on in the black community. I understand all that. And no black folk protesting this shit. There's no black host of any show on the animal planet. Because <laughs> we don't do that shit, all right? You'll never see a show called Jerome in the Jungle on the front of the house. Be Jerome in the truck, doors locked, windows up, and locking his head, and scared as shit. While Chad and Ted out there trying to find the damn dangerous four legged Tennessee catfish snake spider back to Y'all been a lot of fun, man. Thanks a lot, bro.